So if I were to go around onto the calendar of Thunderbird right here, then you get this particular uh, calendar right here. So I have created a calendar, a local calendar right here. Plus I have different calendars being synced out from uh, my Google Calendar as well, as you can see right here as it is linked up. So this is the interface and over here you can see that on the top you got the new event option right here and you can go around and navigate out to different months from over here and different years from over here. On the left hand side you can access the different calendars right here just like this as well and you can go around and then enable and disable the different calendars according to how you want from over here as well. Over here on the right hand side by default you can see that you have a 7 day uh, calendar right here along with timing as well. So apart from that you can also go around and say event in next 14 days and you will be able to see the events right here just like this on the top as well. Apart from that you can also filter it out so that you can only see a day long calendar right here. You can make it a week long, a multi week calendar right here uh, that is a month long right here just like this as well almost a month long or an entire month of calendar right here just like this as well. You can also go to calendar layout option and then choose work days only that is work weekdays only define the work weekdays as well according to how you want and so forth just like this as well. So we're going to look at the calendar options in Thunderbird in the next few videos. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.